go. Sejas throws that short right hand. Got right underneath that left hook of Brandon Figueroa. Nice and tall, nice and tall. Let's go. Then this is the last round. Let's go, Brandon. Be careful, be careful. I tell you what, this fight could have slipped away from Brandon Figueroa when it looked like it would be his night. And yet it's not like he's... ...not having some success. Round 12, final round in what has been an outstanding bout between two good young fighters. Both corners are worried. Both corners don't know if they've won the fight or they're losing the fight. They just know yep. it's up for grabs, and this round may tell the tale. And they come out trading immediately. Brandon Figueroa's corner said, listen, you got to win this round. Oh, that's a heavy right hand by Brandon Figueroa on top. Overhand right coming over. Now he goes back to southpaw, digs in a straight left. But Seha came and ready. When they are at close quarters, he is completely comfortable. And you see the punches landed overall in favor of Figueroa. Over the last few rounds, that seems to have changed. And by the way, this fight is already in the top five most punches thrown ever in a 122-pound fight. Number one, Oscar Larios and Wayne McCullough. Oh, yeah. So this is up. And they're, and they're throwing hooks and uppercuts, mostly. Oh, look at that. Another hook by Seha. Now back comes Figueroa. Figueroa is definitely taking this round right now. I, I, I just think he's he's won the first minute, and uh, he looks like he's he does not want to lose this round. He's going to listen to what his father told him and win this round. It's very important. You can tell this kid's got a lot of character. He's got a lot of fighting spirit. Seha, though, is built for this type of fight. He also, as we mentioned, came in heavy. That's to your advantage at 122 pounds. 126 matters. Brandon Figueroa has to watch out. Keep that right hand up. He doesn't want to get caught with no silly hook this late in the fight. You know, he might not be able to win the belt that's on the line, the belt that's out there, but and the main thing for him is to win the fight. No matter what happens, if he gets a decision over Figueroa, he has a decision over Figueroa. And that will come with a certain cachet and help his career. Well, Seha's got one minute left to get back into this round because it's been all Figueroa so far. I agree with you. Yeah, He's throwing now. Yeah, that hook landed. What a great fight. Final minute in round 12. Figueroa's got him on the, is, is moving Seha backwards now and really out hustling him and hurting him. Is so, it enough to win this fight, though? Another combination by Figueroa. He certainly seems to have done enough to win this round, but back comes Seha. No knockdowns. It'll be all 10 9 throughout. And it'll be up to the judges. Can I mention Lisa Ciampa, Dontrella, Glenn Trowbridge? And it will be a difficult fight to score. Our own Larry Hazard giving multiple rounds in a row down the stretch to Seha. Final 20 seconds. And imagine we've got Santa Cruz up next. And that's even before the heavyweight championship. That could be a repeat of what we're seeing here, for sure. Let's listen up. Final 10 seconds. See what they got. It's not much. That is what they had. And it was more than enough. An outstanding fight. It'll go to the judges. Brandon Figueroa had all he could handle from the 26-year-old Julio Ceja. Great effort. Now that was a throwback fight right yep. there, Brian. You called it. That's something out of the uh, out of the 50s and 60s. That was a, a, a war of attrition. Both guys just... Back in those days, they could, guys could stand right on top of each other. There's no clinching, no nothing. You box. You just yeah. fight. Ref didn't have to get involved. You can watch those old tapes. And here they did the same thing. Let's go back now and go through. Again, Brandon Figueroa, in the early going, seemingly looked like he was going to be more active. His yeah. body work would win the day. At least that was the way it was early. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.